Hey, 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 what up guys? It's your girl Ashley back again with another DIY upcycling. So got these beautiful lamps. They have all this really good detail on them. I like the little paw feet on them. It's kind of antique looking. So what am I about to do? I'm about to upcycle these mugs. So I got these from the Goodwill. Ooh, it was one of those days where it was like half off. So I got like both of them for, what was that? Uh, $6. $6. So all you see, I got. And those little knobs go on them on top of the shade. So I'm about to take these, turn them into something beautiful that you will see um, displayed in the bedroom reveal. So stay tuned, stay tuned for that. Ate it. So I'm about to get this balcony all covered and everything so they want me trying to keep my deposit you heard me i'm about to get it covered get it prepared so that i can spray paint those lamps stay tuned lamps so i prepared everything i wrapped it up blocked off the balcony so i have no problem with the landlord people and so now what we're going to be using is the rustoleon um universal paint and primer in one i really like these because it's paint and primer in one um i've already like Okay, these a quick wipe off so it's good the surface is ready to apply the paint and I'm using the matte French cream for the lamps for the shades I'm gonna come in same Rust-Oleum paint primer but with the gloss hunter green so about to show you please 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 always put your mask on these are from the dollar store so you know they a dollar um, I doubled it up because being from the dollar store they kind of cheap so put this on get ready I'm going to show y'all real quick just the technique you want to use. The wind is against us a little bit today, but it's cool. All right. Bam, there we go. work with this box because I can shift it and turn it easily without having to touch our right, product. So we're back. We're about to do the lamp shades. I've already covered up the hardware. Again, I'm using the Rust-Oleum Rust Hunter Green Gloss. I'm about to spray it and I put it down on some cardboard. I really like this because even with the lamp shade, I can move it like this and not get any paint or smudge anything. But for any time you're spray painting something or painting something it's good to have a little slick surface so you can keep easily turning around you know you have to move it with my foot and all that good stuff all right let me go in back and forth motions too for this we want to make it even because this is fabric and we don't want anything to drip and have any like little splotchy spots so mask up here we go Reposition my hand a little bit just to get it concentrated down there, and then I'm back, back and forth. And it's all dry, so you can see the green and you can see the the wide and everything how it turned out. It's not quite finished because I want to add just a little bit more detail to the leaves, um, and you can see that in like the before pictures, the more detail of the leaves. Um, but now that I just painted it all like this French cream color, it's kind of lost. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this Deco Art Metallic Luster in Champagne Ice. So you see that. Get that a little bit right there for you. I got this from Hobby Lobby. Um, 
it was like $5.99 but of course you know I used the 40% coupon so always 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 download you your 40% coupon when going to Hobby Lobby so this is I have this and then I have two brushes that I'm going to use and they are from the artist loft this 25 piece pack right here and it has all like different ones from here I got this from Michaels and it was like five dollars five dollar deal for 25 and it's good you know they're not like high high-end brushes or whatever but they do get the work done and they do do a good job so I got those never have too many brushes so I'm gonna be using the artist loft four and then the Artist Loft 10. So you can see these. See how they look a little bit. Yeah, right there. And you can see just the difference in them. So like this one, the blue brush, it's a little stiffer. And the bristles are packed in more together. And then this one is a little longer and just a little bit more fluid in its movement. So it's going to do these both are going to help me out really well because this um more fluid one the number four yeah number four bus it's going to be able to like wrap around like the leaf like the top leaf part and then the number 10 is going to be able to get me to get in there into those little crevices um of the details and things like that with the glue so let's just jump right in put this in i've used this a little bit already on some things um what was that? Some picture frames and things, and it's nice. I like it. So, like I said, let me go in first with the Artist Loft Number Four brush. So I'm just wipe straight out the container, coat it up really well. A couple of swipes, swish, swish, swish. Okay. So we just wipe some of that off, and then we're just gonna go right into coating it. So I'm probably gonna scoot up. Let me scooch up a little bit closer for you guys. Just so you can see, just a little bit. Oh yeah, and got my trusty little snack with me. Swedish fish on deck. Gotta have them. Okay, so let's go in. Mhm. Mm so this right here is just coating that top part, and I'm just kind of rubbing it back and forth, and then just bringing it down. I like this stuff, but the one thing I did notice is that it can get kind of crummy, like crumbly. Um, so I kind of keep messing with it and kind of leaving it in like a warm spot when I'm about to use it. So it can kind of warm up and get a little bit more creamy. So once again, I'm just going to go back so it can cradle that top part and just rub all that excess down to the bottom. That's on there. Let me see. I don't know if you can tell. I got the cord tied up so it won't be in the way. But you can see that a little bit. Get that on there. Change that up. See what you feel about that. Not too much better. But you can see it though. Like that gold. You can definitely see it standing out more. So. Let's keep it up. All right, next leaf. All right, guys, so I went ahead and finished up the first lamp and followed with the second using the same techniques and the same brush, number four and number 10, and here is the final product. I did need to go in and touch up the shades for some of the original color is showing through at the bottom. But other than that, I just love how they turned out. I can't wait for you to see them displayed in the bedroom reveal. Stay tuned for that. But you know what I like you guys to do? Like, subscribe, hit the notification button, drop me a comment at the bottom. I want to hear from you and talk to you guys soon. Bye.